Hello again, everyone. It is Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the Nautilus Dry Docks, and we uh, just sold cylinder, which is not that uncommon. But this uh, was a cylinder we originally built, like, oh man, like a year ago, year and a half ago, um, to a customer up in Des Moines. It ended up back here. Uh, we don't know what he did to it. It ended up getting sold. Um, initially, it was as is, but the customer requested that we go through it and recertify it. So I just want to share with you what we do to take a look at the cylinder, what we're going to do to get it back in fighting trim once again. All right, so first impressions. This is a uh, an original uh, V1 cylinder with the external brushless motors. Um, we can see he's added a couple of things. There's a BLM in here and a pitch controller um, right there. The equipment tray's not in place. We got kind of spaghetti going on in here. All that's gonna need to be cleaned. Oh yeah, that's super exciting. Be cleaned up, there's the BLM. And that came free. I think I saw there's a BC, and I think there's a servo reverser too. Right, that's uh, the way we used to have to do it for the. Oh, um, right, right. Actually, the way we still do it. Anyway, for the big ones. Um, ballast system looks okay. We got uh, intake. I don't think he ever ran this thing, but he did get into it and out of it and into it and out of it. So we're we're fixing all of this stuff up. Uh, we checked the battery. Um, previous owner left this plugged in to the remote switch which killed, 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 killed the battery dead as a doornail. So, new battery. Um, we're gonna get into this, see if we can straighten things out and show you what's next. So, so we are testing the speed controllers. They powered up. We had the sound, we're running directly from the new battery. And they're working. Spinning opposite directions. Always a good thing in a dual shaft bow. All right, so that worked. Now we're gonna test these uh, servos. There's one. And two. Hang on, came unplugged. One. Two. Always good. All right, so we've provided main power to the power distribution block. Power distribution blocks firing up our BLM, which is connected to the servo tester, which is connected to the uh, ballast servo. If we go in one direction, that vents it. So down we go. And then the other direction, and our pump kicks in. Are both pumps working? Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, All right, you know, I think the only other thing we need to do, if you grab the multi-tester, is just double check, make sure that the BEC is functioning correctly. Should be kicking out five-ish volts-ish. Exactly 4.9. Acceptable. Um, and then I guess, uh, and the other thing would be the gas backup system or give that a try so we just tested the gas ballast system by hooking up our air compressor on here and it depresses you can hear a little when it goes um, so that's all working the electronic switch is working check that um, the only thing we've got left to do now clean up the spaghetti put it back together and uh, throw it in the water. Test out the uh, watertight integrity of this unit. So, time to test. Uh, idea is you drop it in, blow through the hose, look for bubbles. I don't see any. I think we're good. We are good. Always a good sign with no bubbles. Well, that turned out to be very uh, non-drama certification, recertification of this cylinder. Um, everything worked. One of the one of the linkages was loose. 
in the front. We just tightened it. Um, the screw was loose. Yeah. Battery was dead, but everything else was good. Every once in a while, we get lucky.